<laughs> Welcome to episode 32 of the worst show ever. I'm Skippy Heartbeat. And I'm Walter um, Mon- uh, Montefort. Uh, what? Second. Who's the guy from Kill Tony? William Montgomery. I was trying to say that name. Oh my God, you blew it. <laughs> my name's William shit, Montgomery. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus shout out Christ. to William Montgomery. That's what happens when you drink too much before you start the worst show ever. Um, dude, speaking of, so these uh, these Michelada Modellas that I drink, yeah, they, uh, I, I guess they're scarce because something happened in uh, Mexico where they make them, so they're not like producing them right now, so everyone's buying them up. Except one place, uh, the the bonds in La Jolla, because it's all like white people. No one drinks that. <laughs> so we just been going there, and he was like, "Oh, they have a shit ton of them." <laughs> so, Let me see it. What is it again? Hold it up. The um. It? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, speaking of okay. uh, my drink, my drink. Dude, did you hear that? SpongeBob is gay. SpongeBob SquarePants is is gay. Really? Uh, is that like a thing? Yeah, dude, that's a thing. It's official. He's out. Uh, which is pretty weird, right? Well, don't you think it's kind of strange that they have to... Where did uh, you... Where did... Uh, just drop it in a Google box real quick. It came out on Nickelodeon, dropped it on Twitter. Nickelodeon dropped it? Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's official. So now we know the sexual preference of a sponge cartoon <laughs> for fucking children. Like, that matters. Holy shit. Nickelodeon's pride tweet reunites debate. Ah, dude. <laughs> Just click on one of those so you can see the actual t- the tweet. Click on the first one there. No, no, no. This one? No, whatever one. Any, yeah, that one right there. Anyone. Just click on, <laughs> Just click on one. I'm sure they'll all show the same tweet. Should have clicked on a different one. <laughs> there it is, right there. Is this is this the person that declared it? No, scroll down, dude. I don't know. The tweet is right there. Celebrating pride with the lines. How does that mean he's gay? They're telling you, dude. SpongeBob, baby. He's out. Wait, wait, wait. Where does it say it? Yeah, he is. Look, there he is. Yeah, it doesn't say he's gay. Yeah, you got to click on click on another article. He's, he came out. He's out. It's, it's, it's so funny, dude, because I, I haven't watched Sponge. I, I never watched SpongeBob, did you? Yeah, I love SpongeBob. Yeah, there's a lot of people who say that, and but now after knowing he's gay, dude, look I don't at. Know if I love him anymore. I mean, because God forbid, I don't want to look gay, you know. <laughs> dude, if I'm gonna... in love, if I'm in love with a gay sponge, how does that make me look, Sean? I mean, you're already watching yeah. a children's cartoon, right? So that's that's something. It's like I feel like there's enough people who are like, oh, SpongeBob is awesome. Then it's okay for people to be watching a little children's cartoon. But it's funny. There's a lot of memes going on right now. Um, and they're they're using like pieces like little like screenshots from episodes, and it's like yeah you guys didn't know about this the whole time and it's like he's like grabbing somebody's ass so, like there's like an ass that's bare like the shorts <laughs> are hanging down and he's like helping him out the window or something. There's so many funny little things that are going around. Like I never watched it, so I have no you know I don't really know enough. About hey, dude, here's my thing. Does it really <laughs> matter either fucking way? No, that's the whole. That's why I brought it like, up, dude. It's a fucking sponge. No, cartoon any cartoon for show. Kids. Does it? Does it matter the pre- the orientation? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter, and that's why it's like it's so crazy. Like, when are we gonna stop? Like, when when is enough enough? Like, why do we all of a sudden have to be making statements for cartoon characters for kids that kids don't know? Kids don't fucking care. They're just watching TV. It's these crazy, stupid adults who are like feeling like they've got to like. I don't know. No, it's, prove it's a the point, and then it gets political, to, yeah, and then it gets it's, crazy. It's and now the you've companies got people, that have to prove a point. Yeah, dude, it's insane. Because like, 
it's just, this is for kids, right? And so kids watch this show and they love this show and, and it's awesome. It's, 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 dude, SpongeBob has been around forever. Kids love it. But now all of a sudden this, this happens. And I'm not saying there's anything good or anything bad about it. I don't, I don't, I think it's stupid that they have to, that they have to say that they're going to choose one way or another, because what's going to happen is that there's going to be some dumb red, redneck somewhere in the South or anywhere in this country. And you're like, what? SpongeBob's gay? My kids are never watching another episode of that gay sponge. You know what I mean? And like that, and now their kids <laughs> are never going to be able to see SpongeBob because their parents are fucking assholes, yeah. you know? But like, why do you have to even like, oh, the, sponge is, the sponge has a sexual preference, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, dude. It's like, it's yeah. so strange. And, and, if, and if, why do you have to reveal that to, to the world? It's like, it's, it's, it's so stupid. It's just so That's stupid. That's like how uh, the Simpsons had to get rid of um, a poo. So again, so stupid. Apu, like, the Indian guy the, who owns a 7-Eleven. Dude. It's just crazy, dude. No, no, I'm sorry, but I don't think Indian people give a shit. And just speaking from the knowledge that I have of what Anita says, no one gives a fuck. So, <laughs> oh, dude, it's just insane. <laughs> dude, it's one person who's like, what the fuck? This is so racist that they have a guy... In, no, 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 no. Not, not a person. A white person. Yeah, a white person. It's a white person who needs to fucking just be like, this is, this is, we had enough of this. And she's from Orange County, and she's like, that's it. This is fucking bullshit. I can't stand my son watching The Simpsons and that fucking, I got to take care of this. So she goes the whole racist route, and then all of a sudden they've got to remove, it's, it's not fair. It's, it's, but bro, removing him is not fair. Because that's like removing people in, in society. You know what I'm saying? These people exist. These people are everywhere. You're writing for them in cartoons. Sometimes, sometimes like, you know, especially at that time, you know, The Simpsons was a, has been around for a really, really, really long time. And back when I was a kid growing up, it was like everybody always did that Indian accent. And they did it with like, you want a Slurpee? You know, because a lot of fucking Indian people worked at 7-Eleven. So that's yeah. why they wrote him into the into the sketch. There's nothing racist. It's just what it what it was at the time, you know. I don't know, dude. Everybody has their own way of looking at things, and they go blah blah blah, and they throw it up all over Twitter, and then people say, "Oh, we have to make a change because some dickhead made, said a statement." That's dude. That's why I love. Did you see? Did you see Chappelle's thing? The, the yeah, 846? yeah, I did. Wow, pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, it was. It was pretty amazing. And the thing that he was saying about, like, you know, nobody needs to see, nobody wants to hear what a fucking celebrity has to think about this shit. Remember, then he brings up that Ja Rule, you know, he's like, like, what yeah. Ja Rule thinks? Of this I guy? feel like some people didn't get that reference, though. Uh, you, uh, you'd have to know his old shit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he was like, what was, he was talking about on 9 11. He's like, oh man. <laughs> he's like, I'm sitting there and I'm worried. Yeah, it was 9 like, 11. We're going to check in with Ja Rule. See how Ja Rule has to say about, about this. He's like, I'm not trying to dance. I just want <laughs> to. <laughs> the country <laughs> but it's true it's true it's true and uh you know he's like you know he doesn't he's not he doesn't if you didn't see it go fucking watch it i'm not even gonna say anything he said yeah. it better than anybody else so just go yeah. fucking watch it it's on it's on youtube just type in just go to netflix as a joke on youtube just check it out and 846 dave Chappelle, you'll find it it's amazing um and but yeah, he, dude, I mean, everybody uh, thinks go follow him because now he has a uh, instagram yeah, go follow him now. He's on he's on the gram. And go follow the worst show ever, obviously. Of course. We've been getting a lot of followers lately. Yeah, we I think we have like a thousand now or something. Close to it. Yeah. Grow it, baby. <laughs> People are watching. Um, but dude, I don't know. I I I I don't know. This every I feel like everything is gonna get to a certain point you can only have so many things that are i don't know correct and when are people going to be satisfied like when is it <laughs> you know what i'm saying like never it's just insane you know, here's the thing if you don't fucking if you don't like something don't watch it if you don't like something don't listen to it i mean as long as it's not like but, but the thing is dude is and maybe i'm maybe i'm speaking for the the gay community as a whole which I shouldn't be, but I don't think gay people were like, I'm not watching SpongeBob because he's not gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was never, there was never this thing. <laughs> yeah. And you never <laughs> should put one on there. Dude, you never should put one on there. That's the thing. It's like, um, dude, like, it's so funny because like Judge Judy, right? She says to these people all, all the time on, on, her, on her show, um, 
like for like for example let's say um someone needed money to help pay off their lung transplant that they had right so um fuck how am i gonna <laughs> this, I blew you're it losing me you're I blew losing it already <laughs> basically um if she's already having a conversation with this person about the lung transplant, then that person was already aware of the lung transplant. They're not just walking around thinking, like, if this person's like, I don't owe them money for a lung transplant. I don't even know they had a lung transplant. But they have emails here and text messages talking about, you know, the transplant. Otherwise, would anybody be, wouldn't you just be 100% just taken out of the dark if someone was accusing you that uh, of money from a lung, from a lung transplant, if, if you absolutely knew nothing about it? It would be like, I don't know. I fucking I blew the whole thing. It was a bad yeah, analogy. But did. my point but, is, go ahead. What? I was gonna say, of all the characters on SpongeBob, who would you think is gay? I don't know. I don't watch the show. Patrick, I guess, is what people no, are saying. No, I would. I would say Squidward. I don't even know who these people are. Show okay, them. so Squidward is his neighbor, and that would make a lot more sense. Uh, hang on. So Squidward is uh he lives by himself very flamboyant um i mean you know squidward right i don't watch the show dude i've, I've only seen a couple of, uh, i mean if i'm showing you a picture clips. you know who this is you're not like i don't oh, know what I'm he never. sounds like i don't know i don't you know i've seen the character before but i don't know anything about him. so okay um so Patrick is like a dumbass. He's the, the star. And then you got SpongeBob, who's the main character. And then you have hey, hold on. Yeah, characters. Let me see all the characters. Okay. So this is you have SpongeBob, you have Patrick, who's his best friend. Okay. So you have Squidward, who I would think would be the one coming out you know, saying he's gay, but apparently the producers don't think that's good enough. <laughs> Irrelevant. And then you have uh, Sandy Cheeks, who she's a, a squirrel, um, who actually, she might, she could pass as a lesbian. So, yeah, but shouldn't you know, we these... know now? Shouldn't we know all of, now I want to know all of them. I want to know. And I Mr. Know... Cr Mr. <laughs> Krabs is very cheap. Um, I'm sure there's a group of people you can associate him with. <laughs> um, this is Plankton. He's like the evil villain who always wants to take over the whole uh, world. He's kind of like the sideshow Bob of... Uh, of um, there's a lot of characters in this show. I had no idea. This is Gary the Squirrel who sounds like a cat, which is SpongeBob's pet. Um... I forget who the, this is like the driving instructor or something. And then this is uh this is uh Mr. Crab's daughter, Pearl. I think this is the driving instructor. Dude, they all look pretty gay to me, to be honest with you. Um well dude, I mean it's a fucking kid's show. Yeah, no that's, shit. That's that's why it looks gay so, but that's why they see. shouldn't be telling them what what their sexual or preference is. It's just weird. Weird stuff. Weird time, 2020. 20, 2020. Yeah. Mid, it's the middle of, oh, it's almost coming up on the 21st year. Colton, isn't that your longest day of the year? Isn't that your favorite time of the year? 21st next uh, Sunday, yeah. God, longest day, longest of, the year. day of the year. Um, what the hell is I going to say? Yeah, that's fucking bizarre. Been getting a lot of phone calls from Aunt Joan lately. I know you, I know, I know. Uh, She's been having some difficulties, huh? She seems to have she, uh, trouble doing everything. <laughs> she was trying to, um, what was she trying to do? She was trying to order a COVID-19 mask from Staples. First of all, who's going to Staples for their, <laughs> for their masks? Staples? Staples is and, still around, dude? Yeah, barely. So she's going to Staples and uh, she called me. And she wanted me to. Uh, I hope you have this on on film. You got I this do. On video? She, yeah, she wanted oh me God. to. She wanted me to order her, um, you know, masks. And she said that she had a twenty five percent promo code. I should have known better to fucking look up this shit. 
there was no 25% off. It was like 20, save 25 cents for something. I don't know what the fuck oh it was. God. Actually, there's a couple things I'd like to show you. First, I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll be okay with this. This is my dad's. Um, so my dad I, is just as bad as her pretty much with technology. He has a laptop um, and he, I changed his desktop background and he doesn't know how to unchange it. So it's a nude woman, but there's no nudity. Her, uh, what the hell did you just pick out of your ear? I was joking. <laughs> She, he, um, <laughs> he took a uh, a bunch of files and put them over her private parts. So you can't see them. Your dad did this? Yes. Okay, that's it. So this is... Huh? I'm that's sorry. not good enough, I don't think, Colton. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Um, that was your dad's desktop? That was his desk. That was his laptop computer. Is your dad still married to your mom? No. <laughs> so that wasn't your mom, right? <laughs> no. No. All right. Um, I think if that was her, they'd still be working it out. Is your dad with anybody? No. Of course no. not. Because that wouldn't be his fucking background if he was. Yeah, no. Okay. So where's the original video? Hang on. I can play Don't it think that he would at least keep the vagina area clean of files on the desktop? That's what I would do. It would just well, be he, cluttered and overlapped everywhere else, but that the whole little area there. He's, uh, he's very uh, religious, so, you know, it's a sin if you're uh, yeah, viewing nudity or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's, uh, yeah, yeah. let's see if you can hear this. Are you showing us again? I'm showing you the Aunt Joan video, but I'm not going to show the whole thing. It's five minutes long. Jeez. But I'll just give, I'll give the, uh, the people watching a little taste of, of what I have to deal right. with pretty much on a daily basis. And shown. So this describes, you know, the whole promo and everything. It was, okay. So it's, oh, I have to take a selfie? No, this has nothing to do with a selfie. You, when you forward someone an email, it asks if you'd like to include whatever the email is. So I think you're just forward me nothing yeah and then you're just labeling it whatever you want 12 seconds later you you send me emails you forward them to me but you don't include the email so all i get is just a oh i don't make the attachment right that's what i told you so i got an email and it says order the mask if they have three layers sent from my iphone and then it's just completely blank oh I also have one from you that says, scroll down, completely blank. I have Hi. another one from you that says, buy the mask for me, completely blank. <laughs> and then another one that says, this is for you, completely blank. Dude, I'll get, I'll get emails from her and my dad. I'll, I'll get an email from my dad from like three oh in the morning and it'll just say taste. It's like, what are you doing Dude. at that fucking time? And why are you sending me these words? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Old people, man, they don't know how to do shit. They don't. I think that if you're going to cheat, you got to cheat with like a real old lady. This way, you'd never yeah. get caught. <laughs> if only there was like some controversial virus to just get rid of all the old people. You know, like a worldwide virus that would just get rid of old people. Uh, you know what I'm talking like, about? Yeah, someone of the very higher ups in the uh, the uh, the Gil the Gilberger Berg group, whatever, are like you know what? what? I <laughs> the Ross Ross. No, there's a couple. There's like there's a I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, oh, are you talking about okay? The the elites. Yeah, yeah, the ones who run the world. Yeah, they're like yo, I I there is someone in there who has an aunt Joan. And they came in to the meeting that day where they're sacrificing children and shit in the middle of the woods, chanting songs. And you're like, God damn it, my fucking Aunt Joan is, that's it. We've got to do something about these fucking old people. And so Bill Gates is like, I have an idea. And Fauci was like, yeah, we were just talking. We were just talking. <laughs> and boom, that, that, here we are. <laughs> that's my favorite thing is how we're taking advice from people that literally look like they're on their deathbeds. No, dude. Dude, every, everyone who's, like, in charge looks horrible. 
Bro. I didn't know Nancy Pelosi's 80 years old. Did you know that? No, I did not know she was 80. <laughs> She's 80 years old. I didn't fucking know fucking 80. Joe. I knew Joe Biden's senile, but I didn't know he's almost 82. Bro, all these people are just, who fucking, who picks these people? Who picks these know. idiots? I who, don't know. The, like, we've got nothing. We've got, we've, like, it's so fucked up because the guy down the street at the 7-Eleven can do a way better job than any of these idiots. Uh, he just can. I just know he can. And unfortunately, I know that he's an extreme example, but there's people who are way, way more, not, get qualified, just better people. What makes you qualified to be a good politician? Just being a fucking good liar, being real corrupt and a shitty person, not yeah. giving a shit about things that you really at the core and in your heart should be caring about just you're just neglecting all that for the bottom dollar and fucking money just so some people can be rich for for a while until they die and you just keep that shit going you Dude. forget about the growth and enhancement of the earth and the technology that we could have now but people are just so money hungry it's it's fucking gross dude it's disgusting i don't know that's why I stay out of politics. Because personally, that makes you, a good I think you gotta learn that stuff. That's what makes you a good politician. But if you if you actually are a good person and caring and care about race and gender and 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 and, and the good well being of people, and you have a heart when you see a homeless person and you want to get them off the streets and into some place that can protect them, bro, is it, we don't have that. We don't have that. But that's that's why these people get out of politics because they realize that there's. Dude, there's never going to be a fucking change. That's the reality of it. The reality is it's always going to be fucked up. There's always going to be a problem. And that's why there always needs to be, you know, but there's always going to be something. I don't know, man. I think that we would just need some, somebody, that we, somebody that we trust to come, like somebody that... Like SpongeBob. Yeah. Yeah, someone, someone that has everybody's interests. Mm -hmm. Does SpongeBob have any black friends? Because I didn't see uh -huh. any black characters in that in that show. It's just fucked up. It's racist. Maybe they should talk about that more than they should his sexual preference. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Uh, they showed um, they showed what he would look like in real life. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see all of them without watching the uh, video? Can just you hear that it. sound? Just, yeah. just mute it, yeah. Uh, I think I... Okay, that's terrifying. That's horrible. That's pretty good, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, wait till you see Patrick. <laughs> Oh my god. That's the fucking same. Yeah. As if he looks high. Wow, Mr. Krabs. He doesn't even look like a crab in that right picture. It's not a good one. The fuck? Why do you make his teeth so sharp like that? He looks scary now. <laughs> Holy shit. Imagine, Patrick's jacked. It's like me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the hand holding. See? The yeah, hints were there the whole time. That's why. Yeah, there, Look, that's, there it is. Covering the penis. Mm -hmm. He's fully hard. Yes, he is. There it is. The left a little bit. Although they, his tie in the cartoon is shorter. Yeah, but he's holding that. That's fucking terrifying, dude. It These is, are dude. horrible. <laughs> That's fucking. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, I saw that one. The 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 Simpsons one. That's pretty weird. It's all like artist so, rendition. You know, they have their own particular style of like, oh, they're all gonna look like this. If they were here. <laughs> pretty weird. I bet you, um, South Park is gonna be making fun of this shit though. Exactly. South Park is the one cartoon, dude, where they fucking Park, they don't give a fuck. And they attack shit head on. It's funny because like there are some serious issues that are going on in this world, don't get me wrong. But then there's like there's ones that are like so awesome to make fun of. You know what I mean? Just like so so great to make fun of. And I love I love watching them make fun of it and I like watching people get upset with it. Because those oh, yeah. people 
that it's intended for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, these the fucking Karens and all those assholes. You know, like those fucking people. I don't even like saying that word because it's so it's such a stupid thing. But you know what I'm saying? It's true though, dude. It's it so really true. is. I love it. <clears throat> well, um, isn't uh, what's it called? Oh, PlayStation Five coming out. Yes. They released the release date. Um, Dude, I was one of the first people in the in in the world to share that photo. As soon as they showed the first pictures of the PlayStation Five, I took a photo of it on my TV, and I threw it through editing editing a program that I use called Snapseed real quick, and then I put it up. I want to show both. They have a black and a white one, right? Or is it just white? No, it just looks like that. It just looks like the one on the top. I they thought two, they had a black one. No, they have just that. Fuck, dude. Are you serious? And it doesn't even look like that on the top. Dude, I could have sworn they had two. It looks, look. It's a, cons- this- it's a dream of a PS fan's dream of an all black console. Oh, dude, I don't markup. want the white one. Click man. on that one in the middle, the polygon. Click on that in the middle. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's the PlayStation 5. It comes in two versions. It comes with a disc, and then it comes with the one that's just digital. So it's an all digital one. So what does that mean? You know why they're doing that? Of course I know why they're doing that. Because it's going to be expensive as fuck. No. They're going to have to keep the price down on one of them. And then they're going to... Look, it's smart by PlayStation because they haven't revealed the price. Um, Let's just slow down here for a second because this is is like... I I love this shit because this happens every... Man... Every generation, the PlayStation and the Xbox come out, they, they come out with each other. The new hardware is being, being made. Um, it's just the next generation. The next CPUs are coming out, the next graphics processors, it's time. They, they always, they let a significant amount of time go by between, it's not like it's fucking an iPhone where they're coming out every year. I mean, these systems oh, are when was, last uh, a long time. When was the PS4 release? I think it was 2013. Uh, I can't even spell. Um, wow, yeah, seven years. Yeah, that's so that's good. usually the refresh on uh, on those on the consoles. I think the PS, th- uh, I think the the one the PS3 was 2007. See, here's my thing, dude. 2006. Yeah, November 2006, and that's the thing. So you want to get these things, but check out now, now real quick. Just type in Xbox 360 release. Wait, date. why is this so expensive? Just, just go do it real quick. I want to show you the difference here. That's November seventeenth, two thousand and six, when it was released. Oh, that was in Japan. Okay, in Japan, North America was November seventeenth. Okay, North America was still seven seventeen, but no Xbox. That's the original Xbox. Three sixty is below November twenty second, two thousand and five. Okay, so that's the thing. November twenty second, two thousand and five, and the PlayStation was two thousand and six. November two thousand and six. Nintendo, um, Sony blew it, man, so bad with the PlayStation 3. It was, they, they got delayed and they ended up coming out a year after the Xbox 360. And the, everybody didn't want to wait a year. They were like, fuck it, I want next gen console. I want to play, I want to play these next gen games. Gears of War, you know, everybody was on this shit. It also hurt Sony so bad because the game company's not waiting for Sony to come around. So they're making these games on Microsoft platforms ex- and they're designing exclusively, them. Exclusively, yeah. But not exclusive, they're, but they're designing them on the Xbox console and then they're ported to work over on the PlayStation. It's definitely going to perform better on the Microsoft console. So here's Sony a year late to the game and it was expensive, dude. It was $600 fucking dollars when it came out. Mm-hmm. And Remember. there's no games for it yet. There's hardly sh- just shit. So, dude, they got off to such a rough start. They they were losing so much. Two hundred and seventy something dollars, I believe it was, for every console that they that they that they sold. It was it was insane. They blew it, and they don't want to make. They that were mistake. losing money on everything. Oh console? yeah, hundreds. How? Were, because <laughs> they built the PlayStation Three with the cell processor. All the technology that went into this, the manufacturing, and the actual cost of the machine cost over the six hundred dollars that they were charging for it. Dude, if you start if you start looking at like a CPU, how much this costs, how much does a graphics card cost, how much does this cost, dude, this shit is expensive. And um, what's up, Kevin? And these people are all trying to cram. So what these provider, what Microsoft is doing, and what Xbox is, I mean, what Xbox and 
uh, PlayStation here are doing are trying to make uh, an extremely capable gaming computer at low cost, right? So it's so it's equal gaming across the board. If I play an Xbox at your house, it's the same as an Xbox at my house. People with PCs are all running on different uh, system recommendations, and and things aren't look. Some systems play better than others, but mostly better on PCs. Yeah, it kicks the shit out of all the consoles. You're, you're right, dude. It's amazing. Fucking well, like for for the what is it? The PS5 is like 800 bucks. Well, I it hasn't been PC. announced yet. But, dude, I mean, you got they they've announced the two the two versions, the digital version, which is going to be their cheaper one, which. A digital version? What does that mean? So they, no disc drive. It's gonna have, yeah, it's gonna have a disc drive. One of them has the disc drive, so you can put the Blu-ray discs in, and then still be able to have it read off a disc and be digital. And the other one's just all digital. PlayStation Store, you download your games, you stream, you use the cloud, mm-hmm. all that shit. So that's gonna be the cheaper one, and I don't. It's not gonna be the better one. It's just not gonna be the better one. It's how not does a game? How does a game run better off a PC when a console is designed specifically just for that game? You could design a computer specifically for gaming. Dude, because... I built my own computer. Yeah, dude, my dad builds computers, and his, his computer that he's built for himself is fucking insane, dude. And the thing is this, like, so... And it's, you not, know, it's not hard either. There's a whole bunch of... It's really not. Like that yeah. That will tell you exactly how to do it. Yeah, it's not that hard. And if you build your own, you can build them for relatively inexpensive. If you go to the store and buy a computer, you're a fucking idiot. You really yeah, are. dude, I, I, I made my computer 800 bucks. It, it kicks the shit out of all of that. Yeah, I mean, dude, this, the specs I bet in his $800 computer are, are better than what the Mac, Mac specs are going to be in, in, some, in these. When did you build your computer? Uh, two years ago. Yeah, what do you got in it? Do you, do you, do you, do you know? Yeah, I got like a AMD 760-something and like 16 gigs of RAM. Um, I haven't even overclocked it yet. It's an i7 quad core okay yeah there you go dude like that's just gonna run games beautifully and the thing is like so dude let's take doom for example here's a great example so the brand new doom game just came out and this game is dope as fuck and graphically it's insane yo it even look if you look at the back of the so when you buy a computer games you, you used to go to the store because and and you'd buy you look the game you flip out you flip it to the back and you would see that the minimum requirements to even run this game are, are this but it recommends that you have this but yeah. if you're my dad then you've got fucking this so there's people who are running the minimum and they're like yo doom looks cool and then there's people who are running the maximum and doom is just flying at the smooth frame rate the, at, um you can go into computers self water Dude, yeah, dude, you can go into the computer settings and then turn the graphics all the way up, the shadows all the way up. You just ha- you have all of these options to do that. And if your computer can handle it, you would be blown away by what this shit can do. The problem is you can't do that unless you're spending a lot of money on these computers. So what Microsoft and Sony does is they build these gaming consoles that you don't need it to do anything else but just run these games. But now like you have now it's got more shit because it's connected to the cloud and you can do all this other stuff and it runs the hard drive, but no big deal. Um, but the point is that you, you just, you, you want to be able to build a machine that's going to run it. So if you, if you are playing Doom at your house on your Xbox One X, it looks dope as fuck and it looks exactly the same at my house. It's not going to play at a slower frame rate. That's the beauty of, of buying a console is that you're going to go there. It's going to, you're going to buy the game. It's going to download it. It's going to work. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to have a great community and uh, you don't have to do shit. You spend the five, $600, you got a beautiful gaming thing. But if you really want to get into hardcore gaming and just better gaming, build a fucking computer, man, and buy the games like that. Cause holy did you, shit. did you know that you could actually play your Xbox games on your computer through Xbox connect? Yeah, I heard, I heard that. So you could have just you try it. it? And it's just like, well, I don't have an Xbox. I don't give a fuck. But if I had an Xbox, like, oh, yeah, I would totally get the connect to my PC. So when I'm sitting on my PC, I'll just play the game there. Dude, I started using Steam lately. I have a, I have a Mac, a 27-inch iMac. It's got an i7 processor in it. Um, dude, it's, it's, I built it a few years, like years ago, and um, put all the maximum specs in it. Well, not except for the RAM. It can hold 32 gigs of RAM. Man, I don't have 32 gigs of RAM in it, but bro, I got on Steam. I downloaded Call of Duty Modern Warfare, 
And I've played that game on the PlayStation 3 uh, so many, for, for so long. I played it on Steam and holy shit, it was like I was playing a totally different fucking game. It was insane. Like it was just, everything was so crisp and everything was just so smooth. It was, it was totally, it was like, it was almost like I didn't even remember it. But like, but of course I remember it. You know, I'm in the airport. I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't even feel like it. It's a totally different, it's a different experience, man. It's totally different. The gaming, yeah. the gaming on a PC, but you've been doing a lot of gaming lately. Uh, no, just just recently because of the pandemic and shit. You know, just trying to. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I've been something. gaming over at uh, Sears Robux. Dude, I've been jerking off so much more during the pandemic than normal. Why don't you have sex? Oh, uh, I do that too. <laughs> like my kids, my great. <laughs> oh, what did you do during the? Uh, 2020 pandemic, and I'd be like, mostly jerked off and playing video. And that's the thing. That's because that's what you know. What that's what I mean, most did people you pro- were... did you protest in the race war. <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> but bro, that's no different than the 1918 Spanish flu. People jerked off all through the flu too. They just didn't have the video games. They were playing like Battleship oh. and jerking off. You know what were you doing through the night? 19- you know, same thing. I would be jerking off so much more because there's nothing better to do. Like the only reason why I'm not jerking off is because I have video games. <laughs> it's controlling you what's that it's controlling you hey man whatever it's not a bad thing to be controlled by it's gonna be hard to go back into society you're gonna find yourself in your car a lot more just be like I gotta, i'll be back i'll be, I'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> my, my job is normally remote you didn't realize that you built up this nasty habit of jerking off 18 times a day <laughs> oh dude i could do that <sighs> i work from home it's sick I know, but I don't think the penis can handle 18 times a day. Uh, hey, the, what is it, the flesh, or the flesh is willing, but the, or the body is, is weak, but the mind is willing. Yeah, isn't it, David, didn't David Goggins say, like, if you're, if you, if you're about to give up, you're only 40% there, or something like that, or something like that, so, hey, go for 36 okay. times, who cares, you got it, bro. You, yeah, you go it. until smoke comes out. Hey, what do you think the Guinness World Record on jerk off per day? And also, uh, does somebody have to watch you and witness this? I don't know. I was there. I saw the whole thing. I saw all of it. I do jerked off right now. 86 times. Colton's search history has got to be pretty interesting. Like the regular right. search or like his porn search? Guinness World search. Record for masturbation. Uh, yeah, but that was in 2016, dude. This is pre-pandemic. I guarantee it's been broken since then. Oh, yeah, totally. What's the world record for masturbating in one day? It's out of 83 times in 24 hours, dude. By a Thailand boy. Oh, shit. I motherfucker. A lady boy or a boy boy? Mm, I don't know. That's why I don't know, dude. But uh, Anit Jain says, I would recommend you not even try this because one more guy has died in an attempt to overtake this record by ejaculating 42 times. So don't try to follow the world record. Instead, follow a healthy number and master. Oh, fuck this person. Wait, hold on a second. To, Time out. They're trying to discourage you from following your dream. Yeah, because they told, they said, hey, I don't know how this man got to 83 or this, I don't know how this little Thailand boy got to 83 because my friend was, my friend got to 42 before he died. So I don't know how this guy got to 43. Friend. Dude, but whatever. This, they were saying one more, some guy died because he jerked off 42 times. His name is Anakin? I don't know what his name is, but... Colton, did you see that? Someone died from jerking off too much. How come you're not talking about that right now? What the fuck is wrong with because you? Because I don't trust this guy. He's an, he's an entrepreneur. He sounds, he sounds Indian, too. I don't trust hey, what him. Is, look at this Adam Weber. Is orgasm required? Yeah, how do you measure each time, you moron? What is he, just going by strokes? 83 strokes? You can break Wait, how that do you, easy. How do you even... Font, how do you, even do you think he likes, <laughs> like really fast nuts, Break that then? by accident, just watching TV. This guy's an idiot. Yeah. What's Quora.com? Uh, it's like a, it's like a website where you ask look questions. Rel- look at the related questions in the bottom. Read some of these out loud, Colton. What will happen if you masturbate three or four times in twenty-four hours? I masturbate two times a day for four years. Does it cause any side effects? I masturbate four to five times a day. What happens to me? I masturbate eighteen times a day. Whoa! You got to check that one out. No answers yet. All right, let's answer this guy. Who else is? How do we answer this? 
tell them uh, 18 tell them 18 is fine but once you get to 20 it's it just it's just it's bad, bad dude it's tell him the bad. world record is 83 and he could beat it <laughs> no dude you're gonna kill him when he gets to 40 i don't even i don't right, know i bet I his stamina is up bro. i bet That's his stamina awesome. is up look at this guy i am i am 22 male and i masturbate 10 to 12 times a day is it okay for me all day How the fuck do you do this shit? I don't know, dude. This is like watching my grandma trying to internet. I know. Hold on a second. There was a girl on there. Where? On here? Yeah. Uh, where'd she, where'd we can't on? view any of them until we make a fucking account. That shit's racist, man. So how do you guys feel about the upcoming race war? Especially as two white males. I don't um, know how to answer that question. I mean, yeah, I feel like it's not my place to say anything. Damn. What did you... Like, do you have to do stuff? Like, uh, I've been to the protests? Um, do I have to do stuff? Well, like... I don't know. What are you I'm talking like, about, dude? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what do you guys feel about the upcoming race war? I'm kind of being like, man, it's going to be wild. What upcoming I, race war? All of a sudden, we're, there's gonna be we're like, having, there's a day where we're gonna be like fight. No, dude, we're in, we're in a like a health crisis, pandemic, and now there's rioting because of systematic racism. Yeah, and it's like, well, that's not good. That's not a good combination. No, dude, the world is a very fucked up place right now, man. But you know what? Uh, it's been a fucked up place for black people for a really long time, and now it's on the forefront of the whole world, and a lot of people are fucking realizing it. And I think it's it's a great thing. I think that when you have uh, Roger Goodell coming out and saying that, hey, I apologize uh, for not noticing uh, or, you know, not noticing before, but I see it now. Look, man, I, I, the whole, I, I feel like, okay, if that's the truth, then that's, that's great. You know, sometimes, sometimes people don't see shit right away, but this is, why, this is why this is happening, to fucking wake up, wake up the whole fucking world, especially this goddamn country, wake up. If he finally woke up and, and that was a genuine apology, cool. But there's parts of me that see people doing and making statements because they feel like they have to, or they're, they're going to do it to save face. <clears throat> I watch what companies about- not make, make statements and then get shredded apart because not saying something is saying something. And it's, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's, a, it's that, fucking not- crazy. It's just a it's- fucking crazy time, man. I know where I stand. Every, you know, I, I, I love human beings. I, I, everybody is equal. They should be. They're not. It's it sucks. I think that uh, the longer this goes on, the more change is happening. I, I you know you see these guys get charged for second degree. You see, you see yeah, that's statues wild, and monuments and shit come down. These fucking racist Confederate fucking monuments. Listen, man. Yeah. If you think a Confederate that- flag is something that you should be waving around, you can go fuck yourself, man. It's not. Yeah. That's just it's not. Fucking, that shit's a fucking traitor flag. That was a that was a war fought over slavery. So how dare you raise your foot, that fucking flag? And, and, and to be able to, for that, for Bubba Watson to have to drive to a NASCAR race, being the only African-American driver, and then have to go into the dirty South where, bro, I went to college down there and I'm a, I'm a white guy, but they don't even like me because I'm, an, I'm from New York, bro. They fucking hated me. I, 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 they, I was a bartending at this restaurant, at this, bar, at this sports bar, this, this regular of, of, of mine at, at the time, we got along great, but then, one time after like almost two years of me working with him, he found out that I was from New York. He fucking hated me. You're a Yankee. And that was it, bro. That's it. They're just so, they're, these people don't have fucking meant, they're, they're not willing to just see, see a human being for a human being, dude. They're looking at something that happened, oh, 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 you know, not that long ago, but long enough ago that. <laughs> hey, really though, it's not that long ago. It wasn't. It really no, wasn't. Like grandpa, like somebody's grandpa, like right. lived before the civil rights act. Look, and that's why that's why this is the way that it is because these people, look, man, when when people hear like, okay, the Civil War was, was won, and then they, and then and then when they were talking about, you know, and then when when they abolished well, yeah. slavery, it wasn't, dude, it wasn't, it wasn't like we hear and we read in the books like when they abolished slavery, and then yeah, of course, that's fucking amazing, and and, and that sounds like a yay, but in reality, the there was a lot of people that were not happy with that shit. They were not happy. They were they were like that. We're going to make it very difficult for them. And dude, that's why it is the way that it is now. 
because the, they were going to make it difficult for, for, you know, for, for them. They, they didn't just win rights like, like it sounds like in the books. There's so many fucking people who have it backwards. It was just, it's, there's, nobody does the history. Nobody, no, nobody's learned, nobody learned anything in school. People just recite what they see on the news. The news is just saying bullshit. They're, they're getting caught. Fox just got caught with a digital image of like a fucking soldier or some shit in multiple photographs that they've been sharing and tweeting out. Like, what the fuck is oh, going on here? If you can't trust like the top news organizations, CNN, C, uh, MSNBC, Fox, if you can't trust any of these fucking organizations, do you think that you can trust any of the bullshit stuff that you're going to see on, inter- on the internet too? You can't, you, a lot of the stuff is memes. A lot of this uh, created by bots and then dropped into Facebook and then spread and then just, it's meant to just be spread by people who are who, who it's targeted for, and then create these these, these even bigger even bigger problems. Antifa. I mean, look at all of this shit, bro. It's fucking insane. But all this stuff has a real impact. We are facing a huge crisis right now, and it's and it's just this the the, the news. It's it's what people think is real, what's not real. It's deep fakes are deep fakes are coming to where you're gonna see people saying things, and it's not gonna be them even saying Dude, i feel i feel like it's the fall of rome you know like Dude, something this is, this is how we go man crazy bro it's insane because it's, it's insane. like uh magnified racial tension against the state and the and the police as a as a like seen as an occupant pine force like, these motherfuckers have tanks dude it's but you know what it's like uh i don't want you can you can say um magnified but what I mean, what so what? But what does that mean? I mean, magnified to the sense to where like everybody's got a recording device on them now, and we can see what the fuck is happening. I mean, dude, I can't believe. Like, oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. Dude, there's still today, the 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 body cam footage of the black man who got pulled over and he was drinking, um, and then he tried to run away from the cops and they fucking killed him. Like, you gotta kill him. Like, why? 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 Did, how does this guy deserve to lose his life, regardless of color? Why, why the fuck yeah, you're not you in a deadly and force because some guy drank too much get the fuck out of here man what the fuck is going on the whole system needs to be in check the whole goddamn system the whole well, fucking dude thing. how does that shit change overnight man i don't see that shit change, just changing it tomorrow. doesn't change overnight this didn't happen overnight this happened this is all in the america's country this is all dude the americans <laughs> We're Native Americans, man. There were no fucking white people here. Hey, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Awesome. Good job, bro. You just fucking wiped them all out. Happy Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's been corrupt and fucked up always. Always. Yeah. Always, man. Yeah, we're but the, we're I, that's my point before. Is I feel like it's always going to be that way, dude. It's always, you, you really think that it's just going to change. Like, there are changes happening right now, which are fucking amazing. There's always going to be a leg up. Someone's always going to have the advantage, and it's whoever's running the show. Like we were saying. The yeah, beginning. dude. It's but, whoever's running the show. But, dude, these, but these no, politicians are put here as as the the makers and decisions. It's all an illusion, dude. Yeah, it's I know, all but, a fucking illusion. It's like a poorly written script, and they don't know what the fuck to do now because the script is falling apart. That's the reality of it. I know. And look, man, I know that the government will never allow itself to fall apart and they'll always be the one. And, and when they lose, con- and when they feel like they're losing control, they step it up milita- with, with, with force. And that's how you know that they're right now, they're fucking feeling like they're losing, con- they're losing control. And when people hear defund the police, people are like, I can't believe they want to take all the money away and not fund the police. No, dude, that's not what they're fucking saying. And they defund schools. <laughs> dude, I, it's insane. But if you look at like, if you look at like how much San Diego uh, Police Department was getting, uh, and then every year they need more and then more and then more. And then you just look at how much they've received in the last 10 years. And you're like, well, what the fuck is going on? How is this improving policing? What's happening here? Right. But now all of a sudden you've got police officers who are doing more than just police policing. Dude. And, and what is that money doing? What is the, Where is that money going? It's not going to schools. It's not going to help homeless. It's not going to help the psychiatric, these, these psych wards and to, to help people. There are no psych wards anymore. A long time ago, we got rid of them. It's just fucked up, bro. It's this vicious cycle of fucked upness and everybody's involved in one way or another. But it all depends on your race, your sexual preference, where you live, who you, where, you, where you were born. 
and that's that's it, it, that that makes it either okay, tolerable, great, or just horseshit. I mean, look, man, a white male in the United States of America, pff, dude, it doesn't fucking get. Does it really get any better than that? To be honest, I mean, holy shit, white look, woman. Man, look, you you look a around, hot a hot white woman, dude. You, I, I bet they would differ. I would bet they would disagree, dude. It's just, well, it's, dude, know. it's a it's a it's a fucked up. It's a fucked up thing, and you don't want to be like oh, jackpot. But hey, man, this is what I was born. But I know that we all could have been born very different, and we all could have been born somewhere totally different, man. I was watching. Yeah. There's this guy I watch on YouTube sometimes. He's bald and bald and bankrupt. I think is the name of his channel. Dude, he just goes around the world with his camera, and he just fucking goes to these weird villages and just drinks with homeless people, weird people, crazy people, regular people, just everybody, dude. He's just drinking with. And hanging out with people, just he, he gets out of the car in the weird ass village and walks around. And this guy's from England, and he does this in in, in, in Russia and in India, and just and he just meets people and, and talks to people. And um, see if you can pull that up real quick. The ball, the ball, the bank, bankrupt. If you can quote him while I'm talking, because it's just it's insane to just watch some of these videos to see all these parts of the world and how these people live their day to day. This one guy. Uh, so this guy, the guy, the, the bald guy whose channel this is, he's driving his motorcycle through India on a road yeah. and on a, on a highway. And he sees a guy pushing a cart on the fucking highway. All the cars are going around him. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And he pulls his motorcycle over, walks back to this guy. And this guy has like this popcorn cart. Yeah, that's the dude. This guy has this popcorn cart, this Indian guy, and he pushes it every single day on the freeway to work and damn and when he got out and he helped him push it for a little bit for a little for for however distance it was and he goes wow he only has um 10 more kilometers to go until he gets there do you know how many you know how many miles 10 you know how long you know how, many, you know how far 10 kilometers is no how many miles is 10 kilometers? i just want to double check Six point two one miles. Damn, that'll and, take at least another hour. And he was already, the, bro. This cart that he was pushing weighs as much as he does, and he's on the freeway Damn. with these old rackety wheels. He pushes it there, and he pushes it back, seven days a week. That's wild, dude. So I mean, like you see people living like that, and this is how he's li living his life. You see his body. How you see his the toll that it's taking on his body. I mean, you look at the cart. You see that this is not the guy. This is uh. This is a guy that travels with him sometimes. There he is. This is, this is the main guy here. Dude, I don't think he's... this is the one with the cart. No, it's not. I think he said, uh, look at Bold Bankrupt, put worst, worst job. Just write worst job. Uh, get, get an Indian cart, just write worst job. This guy. Yeah, dude, that's or it. This the top job. one, the top one. Yeah, that one. Dude. I think he goes 350 kilometers. I don't think it could be real. I, I, I forgot the actual thing. All right. Damn, he even crosses a river. This is how, so he, he goes everything. Here, click, everything, click it there. So this, all right, so actually go back a little bit so where you see him pushing this cart on the freeway as he's coming out. No, go back, back further, back further. Yeah, right here. All right, so he, he, frame he, already, he, already passed, he already passed him. He gets off and he walks all the way back. Go back now. I'm gonna go now fast forward another minute. Yeah, until you see he gets there. Dude, the, and this is the fucking thing. What's in his cart? Popcorn? It's, it's like this popcorn shit that he ends up making. I forgot the, the name that they use. You can, you can unmute it for like, uh, like 10 seconds. I already didn't, um, I didn't select okay. share. Uh... Oh, it's okay. Dude, so this guy, Every single day of his life, pushes this cart. He got an iPhone, though. That's what's up. All by himself. That is not an iPhone. It's <laughs> not an iPhone. It's, not. <laughs> it's like a fucking U phone. <laughs> Dude, that's this guy's life, man. I mean, imagine that was your life. Oh, no. I couldn't do that. Dude, 10 miles. He, he had six more miles to go. And he was almost there by the time he found him. Wow. Dude, this is uphill. 
he pushed him until he got back to his motorcycle. The guy was exhausted. He was out of breath. He's like, I can't go any further, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy does it all by himself every single day. <sighs> Damn. Just to sell popcorn. So I think that everybody out there just needs to just think about where they are, what their opportunities are, what they can, what they can do to help not just make their lives better, but the lives of others is better too. I mean, every time you, you interact with somebody, you know, you're, you're leaving an impression, whether it's a good one or a bad one. If someone's having a bad day, you're going to make it worse. Everybody's walking around with something. You don't know what it is, you know. Unfortunately, dude, this is just broke. This broke my heart, man. To, last night, I read that Paul Kilmer's mother passed away, and that is just, man, to hear somebody, anybody's mother, somebody losing their mother is just devastating. And man, Paul is just such a great guy. He's just one of my favorite people. Um, we have him on the show all the time. Um, I don't know what this. I don't know the situation. I don't know if it was tragic. I don't know if she was sick. I. It was just—it was a shock to me, and um, you know, I just want to say my condolences uh, to Paul Kilmer's family and from us and the worst show ever. Um, you know, rest in peace. I'm really sorry to hear that, and uh, we love you, Paul. Um, it's yeah, tough, man. man. It's, life is short. Life, it is, dude. It really is, and and that's sort of these problems that are going on, you know, with everything. It's just it's so fucked up. Um, it's just we got to change things, time, man. Dude. We got to change things so your kids don't know. Don't you know, know what I mean? Man. I don't think it's like possible, dude. It's it. it, it it's. I don't it's, think it is. Be, not, no, I agree. I don't think it's gonna be overnight. Be, hey, to be honest, if I kind of think of it as a game, right? And it's just like, hey, let's change the rules of the game. And I don't think that's how the shit works from the people who are running the game. No, like so Hunger Games. Fuck What's up? Have you ever seen Hunger Games? Yeah. It's like, are you saying it's like that? Like, no matter no, no, what, no. they're the ones it's in charge and they're going like to change video, the, the games? It's literally like a video game where you're like, oh, I wish Doom had a fucking rule where you get more gun power or something. And it's just like, well, the, the fucking, the boss at the end controls the game and you're better off just um, grinding and getting better than the boss. I, I, dude, I, I understand. I understand what you're saying. It's like it's like this, man. You gotta like, you can't change the rules of the game. You just gotta get on the the other side. But let's or just know say, how to cheat the game. But let's just say this. Same people. It's not change is not. The change is not going to happen overnight. Right now, we're seeing some 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 change, which is fucking awesome, man. Because it's so it's so it's so hard to see to make it. It's, it's so hard to make change. Everybody's got to be on board. And Dude, it's like it's like Sun Tzu. He said, "If if you're if you're for or your enemy is is uh, t united, divide them." And it's just like that's what it is. They divide white people and black people, um, the lower class, to just fight amongst each other. Right, when the fucking rich motherfuckers are just like, "Oh, what a bunch of fucking idiots!" Right. So listen, that shit was not something that happened overnight. That shit happened the way that, that, that this country was formed on that shit. So you have these, these fucked up old ways of thinking. I'm telling you, man, if you go and talk to a lot of people's parents right now, they might be some Trump supporters, man. They might be, they, they have a lot of that, that thinking, man. It's still, it's still that old mentality, that racist thought. We need- Yeah, dude, my, my grandma's racist. Like I'm from the yeah, Philippines. But, she yeah. like doesn't, she like loves me, but she's like racist towards everybody else. Of course, dude. The, it's dude, it's, always, it goes beyond though, like Republican Democrat. Dude, both sides are fucking evil. Yeah, they're both, they're to do with both that. horrible. Like they're and and they create an illusion that this yeah, is going to represent this, and this is. They're both horrible. They're both awful people. But the thing is, is it's fucked up. Is the people that are like, oh, I'm going to vote for this person. Those are the people on stage, dude. They're not the one making the shots. They're I not understand. the one making the calls. Right. But but look. Um, at the, at the same time, that I think it's that, those people that use race to keep everybody else down. But but here's my th here's the thing, right? So, it, just like you said, if you go talk to uh, somebody's grandfather, they could be racist as fuck. The shit that you're gonna hear out of your, some say out of their mouths about other races can will blow your mind. But 
you know that you're not going to be able to change that person's mind. You can sit there and try to be like, no, grandpa, because blah, 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 blah. Dude, that guy's mind is made up. Yeah, period. he's too far gone. Yeah, period. Well, anybody who's racist is too far gone. Well, well, so here's the thing. Those old guys are fucking way too gone. How old is, how old is Trump? How old is Biden? How old are these? I'm not saying that Biden's racist, but dude, the, I, I'm just saying that this old mentality has to change that 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 they still have that that racist fucking mentality this shit that we're doing right now that, that, that the people are doing right now to fucking wake people up and try to stop this racism even if it can open up more more eyes to and and and, and have people think for themselves and say no fuck you you're racist you piece of shit i'm not racist eventually we can maybe weed out and turn turn it around to where right now, if it's this much racism and this much not, we can have it so it's not that that racist. At the same time, you have to understand that this country is not is is changing so much. There's so many um, Asian Americans, African Americans, uh, Mexican Americans that are living here. Uh, my friend married a Puerto Rican uh, woman, had two had, had two babies. So those are uh, now a mixed mixed race. Dude, the United States is not going to be this white country that it used to be and i and 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 i'm excited for that shit i'm excited for that shit man because we all should be living with each other not against each other we're fucking humans it's disgusting and that eventually will happen as the country continues to become less just white 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 but people start people are marrying but that's going to happen and then us the young people now the people who are in in their teens right now and are seeing this are they are not they are seeing right now, dude, a lot of people go through and they don't learn racism. They just, they're born in their high school and they're born where they're from. They go to their, their schools where in their small towns, they might have a, a few, a few people of different ethnicities in their, in their school, but dude, they don't ever, it's never talked about, you know, when, are, when, are they, when does ever, anybody ever have like a racism conversation? Well, they're having like it with their families. Right yeah, dude, they don't. They really don't. Like, yeah, they don't know how to be racist because of their families. Dude, the stuff that a lot of the kids will pick up is they'll hear like their father make a dumb racist statement, you know, or, or their mother make something stupid or say something, say something, and then they, and, and, and it instills on them. But they're forced to have this conversation now. These, these people are, it's everywhere. You can't ignore it. It's, it's in the streets. It's on Facebook. It's on TikTok. I mean, all the kids are on TikTok. They see it. They know what's going on. So I'm hoping that, this is the awakening and this is the, the, the education that people are going to need um, to open up the fucking doors for a better future for the, the people who are going to be leading it. Now that could be another 20, 30, 40, 50 years before we have people with all of the right mind frame running the government, 60, 70 more years. But dude, I think that there is going to be a change. And in that time change, it will be. Now, is the government the government? Yes. Is it like Vegas? Are they always going to win? Yes. Are they going to lose the, the racism? thing eventually hopefully but they will they will substitute it for something else but with the way the internet's going with deep fakes and and bots and these fucked up created racist memes dude you take a racist meme by a bot it throws there's a you can go to a website right now and it makes its ai memes you put up a picture you can take the picture you can put it in there it creates a, a, a smart meme for you and you can just go ahead and share it it's not going to ever duplicate it it's yours and, it, and that's happening right now. So you don't think that they can program these to make the most nastiest, racist hate tweets, drop it on Facebook and all it takes and, and drop it in an Antifa page or drop it, in, and drop, it, drop it somewhere where it's going to be seen. Boom. Next thing you know, people are spreading this shit like wildfire. And then just like that's but, but that's what I think you're saying. That shit goes in there and then everybody sees it. And then but nobody really created that in the first place. Nobody was really that much of an asshole to say, fuck this and put this online. It's just maybe they are. But it's just it, for it to go viral and for people to start to see it, it's it's just it's disgusting what's happening, man. I can't trust any of the news, I can't trust anything. But I think that everybody knows, or everybody should know, that Black Lives Matter and it's important. And the idiots who are like, "Well, all lives matter," fuck you. It's not about you, you piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? People should know better. And if you don't know better, don't fucking say anything. But learn. Don't just don't just say things. A lot of these people. When, 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 like, even when the Trump with the, with the, when like, oh, he's not going to get impeached. He's not going to get impeached. People are like, well, um, how, how do you know? Well, did you read the, the transcript? Did you read the transcript? Dude, I was watching an interview and that's what they were saying. This guy went to a, a Trump rally and they were talking to all the Trump guys and they were like, Trump, Trump, woo, woo. 
And then he's like, yeah, he's not getting impeached. Well, did you read the man? Did you read the transcripts? And they're like, no, did you? Well, well, no, none of them did, dude. He asked like 20 of these supporters. Nobody did anything. They're just going by what they hear. So please, people, stop fucking doing that shit. You're your individual. You have your own thoughts. Your thoughts come from where you were, where, where you were, your, your, what you know, your education, where you've been, what you look up, what you do. Educate yourself. Don't be such a fucking goddamn moron. It's better to have an opinion that's yours than just repeating everybody else's shit. Most people can start to think for themselves and just and and not just be goddamn trolls too, because that's another problem. You know, people just jump in just to be a hater. It's just a fucked speaking up. Speaking of uh, speaking of trolls, you hear Six Nine's new song. <laughs> <laughs> when did it come out? <laughs> it's like three days ago, dude. It's garbage. Yeah, they're it's all so garbage. bad. Probably it's has like so 40 bad. million views. Oh, it like, has a shit ton of views, but it's it's very bad. It's with Nicki Minaj too. I'm shocked that she wants to be part of anything to do with him, but he must be paying her a fuck ton of money. Or they're about to make a fuck ton of money. This isn't yeah. the first thing that she's done with him. Um, no, she did another song with him. Can you see, can you show me? Is there a video for this song? Yeah, hang on. Um, I already know what it looks like in my head, right? Just like a lot of colors. Very colorful. And half, half naked <laughs> women just shaking their fat asses. No, it's it's uh, Nicki Minaj shaking her ass. Well, what's the difference? What did I just say? I said women shaking their fat asses. She's got a fat ass. She's no, you said ass. a lot of women, though. It's, it's just her, though? There's no there's yeah. no more women? I don't want to watch Which, it. I think she's enough for uh, a video. She's uh, pretty hot. We won't play the sound now. Yeah, but... yeah we gotta keep the sound off. <laughs> but dude, look <laughs> at him, man! Like, yeah, like he just looks so ridiculous. Oh shit! Like she's pouring milk over him. They're eating Fruit Loop. She's got she's got her titties hanging over the fucking Fruit Loop. But here's the thing, dude. This is where I gotta give props to him. He's on house arrest, and he's filming all this at his house. The, yeah. This isn't like a studio. He's setting Dude, this shit up in his house. The only reason he's at his house in the first place is because he was afraid he was going to get, because they were like, oh, we want to protect him from COVID. But now he's eating cereal out of a bowl with Nicki Minaj's titties in him. I think that he's got a better chance of getting COVID now than he did in prison, right? What the fuck is this? Look at him. Hey, man, I'd risk that to do that. Everybody would. Nobody wants to be in prison. But who's the, look at the decision that somebody made. Like, yeah, let's get this guy out of here. We don't want him to get COVID. Now look what he's doing. You got a shiny jacket on with some. He's got fucking... kittens. He's got the jacket. He's Do you think Nicki. he's banging Nicki Minaj? He definitely probably not. not. Probably not. Think. Yeah, I don't think he is. He did. I he did. She... He did. He for sure did. Look at him. No, I was gonna say oh, with his ankle bracelet. He just fixed it. Did you see? He just adjusted his ankle bracelet. <laughs> no, I think I think she's, dude. She's a businesswoman too. Like she's, uh, um, Little Wayne. She was one of the first people of Young Money. What is, is it? Young Cash Money or Young Money? Oh, I don't know. Cash money, money. So there's Cash Money Records, which Birdman owns, and he has Little Wayne under that, and Juvenile, and all those dudes. <laughs> and then there's Young Money, which Little Wayne started, and that's there's a lot had. of women. There they are. I was right, dude. A lot of colors. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Asses. I didn't. But anyways. Damn, dude. Damn, how she, how the fuck, whoa. Yo, un unmute it for like five seconds. I just want to hear like what it sounds like. I know, I already know what it sounds like, but oh, you probably, would I be able to hear it or no? Yeah. I want to hear it. Need that, I got it, just cash. Skip, late in the middle of the song. That it, that's the chorus part. Okay, skip right there. Let me hear that. It sounds like every single one of his other songs, bro. I can't stand that fucking guy, man. I, I really can't. <laughs> this is his other one with her. You can't. This one was actually on the radio. Um, Dude, especially like after his, after his, like, that shit coming out, you're a fucking rat. He was snitching on these people. For Nicki Minaj to just be like, yo, I don't fucking care if he's a rat. I'm making a song with him. Yeah, but bro. Bro, Akon is doing a song with him. You know Akon Locked Up? I got locked up. Yeah, of course they know Akon. He's remaking that song and putting it out with 6 9 <laughs> And 6 9 <laughs> has a verse with him. 
Here, hold up. That we can show because it's not a, a a song yet. And look at Six Nine's hair, dude. His hair looks like Nicki Minaj. It's fucking unreal. Yeah, I know. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, Akon's looking at him like he's being paid to be there. Like, listen, know. can you pretend to be my father for a couple hours? Because I'll fucking pay you money. And he's like, son, I'm very disappointed in you, but I'll put out this song yeah. with you. Like, look at dude. He doesn't even look natural. No. I just want to see my daughter. Come oh, my God, dude. It's awkward. It looks like he put on his Aeropostale, like, um, track suit, and he was like, I got to go uh, <laughs> film with Takashi 6 9 today. He's like, what's the, what's the most colorful thing you got in the house? Yeah, wear that. And you can tell he wasn't even listening to a song. He's just like this. He looked all awkward. He's like, yeah. It's like, what time is this shit? How much am I getting paid? What, where are, those, when are the asses getting here? <laughs> but, dude, you got to give it to him because he's, he's making money, man. Doing his thing. Meanwhile, people are working really, really, really hard. <laughs> dude, he's, he's, he's doing his thing, man. He's making money somehow. We got to figure that out. We got to get him on the show. If anybody knows, if anybody can get to yeah. him. Can someone get Takashi 6 9 on the show? Um, do we have time to do a uh, chat roulette or you want to or no? Yeah, we, can do a quick, we can do a quick session. Quick speed run. All right. I'm out of here, guys. All, All right, right bro. Good seeing you, bro. Right, peace. Good seeing you, man. Peace. Dude, right. for the first, like, 30 minutes of the show, I didn't have it in gallery view. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I forgot. You suck. All right. Um. Uh, all right, let's do a speed round. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Want me to do it? Yeah, if you want to do it. Got it right here. Allow it. <sighs> yeah, I'm putting on my AC tonight. I'm not sleeping in the fucking... <laughs> this heat's bad, dude. All right, let's go here. Pushing the screen. All right, we're good. We're sharing. We're sharing. Here's our options. We're gonna do. Uh, we we no want filters, dicks right? Loud. Yeah. No dicks. That what, that's what you did last time. Yeah. Yep. Oh, hold on a second. All right. What we got? What we got? Look like uh, the Good Arm and Hammer fucking Mr. Clean. <laughs> What's up, dude? Yeah, people don't look happy tonight, bro. You know why? They want more dicks. Look at this fucking guy. Huh? Oh, it's Takashi Six Nine. Speaking of Takashi. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! What? New shit! New shit! New shit! Exclusive. Some white kid, white kid from Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. <laughs> what? That was a cosplay oh. chick. Oh, wow. Did, you, did she next to you? Yeah, how many wires does this guy have coming out of his fucking head? What's up, dude? What are you doing, bro? Just the two, bro. Oh, I thought you had those white ones. That's your chair. What are you, in a racing oh. seat? Look at yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a racing seat. What are you, a sim racer? What? Why are you in a racing seat? What are you, what are you doing with that thing? Well, you know, it's... It's, it's hip, bro. It's what all the gamers do. Oh shit. You're a gamer, huh? Hip, bro. What's your gamer wow. tag? <laughs> what gamer tag? Schwuck the mud? Yo, Sean, you're sharing the wrong audio. You didn't you didn't embed it. 
Schwak the mod, bro. Talk to this guy. Talk to this guy. Talk to him. Schwak the mod. What do you? Schwak the mod, bro. And like, schwak is like a verb that I made up. Could mean anything. Schwak. And the mud <laughs> is like, like dirt. Schwak the mud. Ask him if he does. Uh, um, uh, if he does campfires in his backyard. Throw it. I don't. Schwak could mean anything. Ask him if he does a sacrifice dance before he goes to bed. Do you have to, does it have to be a physical schwak? Do you have to throw it? Well, yeah, it's a verb, right? Like I made up the verb. So, so can um, can you use it in another sentence without throwing it? It's hard, right? I schwak the frisbee. But then you throw it. You threw it again. You gotta not throw it. That's a fact. Uh, yeah, I think dude, you need to think about a new word, bro. And the screen swack. share and redo it. And the screen share and redo it. You gotta, you gotta do the audio because we can't hear it. You gotta screen share with audio. You should have asked that guy if he does sacrifice dancing before he goes to bed. Do you know how to do it? I'm good. Yeah, I just did it. What up, dude? What's up? What are you doing, man? Just chilling. Yo, you look like that. You're gonna. You look like you're gonna be a UFC fighter one day. Uh, dude, I fucking hope so. Are you into fighting? Nah. Then why would you want to be a fighter then? I, I mean, I'm not currently, but like, I like, I like it. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? What do you like to do? My job. What is that? Uh, artillery shit. What is it? Artillery shit. I saw the, I saw the, uh, the flag on the shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. there. Um, what are you getting into tonight? Not much, man. Just uh, waiting to get tired. So I can go to sleep. Yeah. Ask him where the other headphone is. Where's, what happened? Where's your other headphone? Did you lose it? No, it's charging. It's because I use one at a time. Yeah. Smart. So you never lose a kid. Right. Yeah. All right, bro. I'll let you go. Have a good one. All right. Take care. He was boring, dude. The fuck was he listening oh, to? What is that? Oh, shit. That was something weird. What up, bro? Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. Huh? This, look at this one here. Look at He's, this fucking guy. If I were to say... Skill of one to ten. He is uh, definitely a ten. Wow. Oh shit! Hey. I got a ten, baby. What is um? What's your name? Christian. I'm a man. If you didn't interrupt me just now, I was just about to say that. Um, it's, it's Sean, though. I was just kidding. Man, I was wrong. I knew you were gonna say what you said. I'm one step ahead, baby. Uh, I'm a ten. That's where I get you. I knew that you were going to guess what I was guessing, and you were going to propose that I was wrong, and I knew. Any hoodles? Um, are you an alcoholic? No. I like to smoke weed, though. Are you uh, – Are you? do you – you like the smell of weed? No, I, I'll smoke it. I like to smoke it. Yeah, no, yeah. Everyone everyone likes to smoke that. Where are you from, Yeah. Man? Oh, you're interested in more. Okay. Yeah, no. I, uh, I'm in uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado, United States. You're very, you're very animated. Are you in a the theater? I am literally. If I, <laughs> if I were to pick who my mother was, she would have uh, definitely been an artist because she animated me for sure. Oof. But uh, what, is, what, to... what, what was she, though? <laughs> Oh, she was uh, just a just she definitely a, wasn't an artist. Yeah, no, just definitely just a normal white woman. Uh, that, asking uh, why he's white wearing Mexican those things and, you wear to mow the lawn with. You know, <laughs> out came me. So it looks like you're about to go fly a helicopter. Yeah, no, mow the lawn. pilot all day long, man. I uh, definitely don't have the the eyesight for it. Don't have the income, so figured I'd buy a headset for my video conferences on work. What are you drinking? I, McUltras? No, it's a, it's a. Did you say Angry Orchard? No, I said McUltra. It, it sounds the same with bad video with bad uh, audio quality. I, when she, when she said, "Did you say Apple Orchard?" I was like, "Oh, I, 
I could lie to this guy right now, but I'm not a liar. I like you. You think ahead. I like you too. Tell, tell him you have sex with dead babies. Do you, how, how, um, how long do you think my tongue is? <laughs> I think it's long enough to almost touch your nose, but really kind of get that little stash there. A good little <clears throat> licking. Tell, tell him you yeah, have sex with you're dead right. babies. Pretty close. You called it. No, called him. Oh, my God. Hey. Yeah. What's your name? Sean. It's not Sean. I thought we went over this. Remember I told you it was Christian at first? Yeah, I thought it was Christian. I thought you were oh, joking. I protected myself. I put on the front. <sighs> my name is Matt. So Two T's. I have sex with dead babies. No, it's not. And I have sex with dead babies. <laughs> What's up, soul did, sister? Did, did he next you or did you next him? I nexted him. Uh Dude, there's a delay. Like, oh my gosh, this girl's giving the blowjob right now. She's giving one. Yep. Wow. She's not supposed to be doing that here. Yeah, this is the filtered room. What's going on in this room? Quest system. Item quip persona status. What the fuck is going on there? I don't know. What's up? Cool head. Yeah. What up? <laughs> Say, did you hear SpongeBob's gay? She next with me. I'm surprised it lasted that long. You gotta, you gotta chat with the babes more. She did, yeah, we were trying. I'm so happy this is back. This is this is uh, this is our show. This <laughs> no, is why people this. watch the show. Love it. Oh, fucking neck is sore. What up, dude? But you know what we gotta hey, get you, girl. Sean. Yeah, she looks cool. You look pretty cool. Where are you from? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. I like your look. You look like that girl from Scooby Doo a little bit. You know Scooby Doo? Thel no. Thelma. Thelma. Thelma from Scooby Doo. Oh, fuck. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> what did you say about a skunk? What up? You speak Spanish? <laughs> you speak Spanish? Muy poquito, muy poquito. Yo, I am Mexican. Oh, shit, ¿dónde está? Um, in Chiapas. Ah, oh, sí, mi, uh, mi vivo en la, en, uh, en, en la en Oaxaca. ¿Tú vives say, en Oaxaca? Sí. To, say, sí, say qué to cool. Me Dos qué años. bonitos ojos. Dos años. Ay, qué padre. Sí. Hola. Eh, mi hermanita. Hola, soy Abasa. Tengo Hola. siete. Hola, chica. <risa> Hola, me llamo Abasa y tengo siete. Y ella es mi hermana Samantha. Vivimos en Chiapas, con mi tan de Domínguez. <risa> <risa> She's so cute. ¿Cuántos años? Oh, dile, thank you. ¿Quieres? Dile cuántos años um, tienes. ¿Cuántos años tenemos? Sí. Ah, ella siete. Siete. Six. Hey, my, ah. She's my mother. Oh, madre, muy bonita. Sí. Uh. Ah, que es muy bonita. Gracias. Hola. Um, Do you want to come to the United States? Give me one. I'm in San Diego. Okay. What? What? This is where we lose. Yo vivo in Los Estados Unidos, San Diego, California. Ah, pero ahora estás en Oaxaca. Um, ¿Estás viviendo? Papá, sí. Dos, dos, dos ¿Tú quieres, años. Tú quieres un papá. Ah, okay. Oh, qué cool. Tú, ¿Tú quieres, quieres un papá. Playas? ¿Estuviste en las playas? My, 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 my español oh, es lo bueno. Tú, tú quieres un papá. ¿En qué parte estuviste? 
Tsuki and a super pop. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> I was telling you to say, do you want a dad? Dude, I was trying. This guy looks like Anderson. This guy looks like he should be fighting in the UFC, man. Look at this guy. Are you a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter? Want me to fuck you up? Hey, bro, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Leave me alone, I was kidding. Oh shit, what is uh, that, Kazer? Uh-oh. 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 All right, I was, I was joking, I was joking. Should I go get the, should I go get the, the Glock uh -oh. line? <laughs> His shirt says, Beldor Fresh Cuts. Oh, he's gonna oh, give you a freshie. Shit. He said he's gonna leave. Adios, chica. Woo! Thank God he's not here in real life. That was scary. Look at this guy. Look at these guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Fucking faggot. Oh, Look at these guys. Hey, watch I'm your sure mouth. You fucking... Hey, watch your mouth. Is that mouth. a Confederate flag hanging in your house? Yeah, it's a Confederate redneck, flag. Redneck you wearing a fucking hat inside, dude? You wearing a hat inside? Why the fuck you wearing a hat? Oh, what the fuck is something inside your house? Inside what, are you, what, are you, what are you saying? And now we're playing Say, are, are you, you're fucking yeah, idiot, bro. I'm awesome. Can't wait to go to a KKK rally. Your face is sideways, bro. You need to fix your face, bro. Ask them to blow each other. Ask them to blow each other. Sorry, it's too late. What's up, bro? I don't like that. You see how they came at me right away? These Confederate racists. What up? Ufa. Uh, what do you uh, damn it, I just got that unmuted. Bro, now you know my struggle when you guys are screaming shit at me and I gotta do ten fucking things. I gotta piss real quick. Alright. What's up, dude? What? What's up, bro? Okay, he's just looking for some titties. What's up? What are you doing? Fine, bro. Is that a woman or a man? It's a, it's a guy. You see his little, his little goatee hairs? Hablas, hablas español. All right, fuck this guy. Nah. Yeah, fuck him. I'm not doing that again. That was hard. Ew, that guy took a nasty shit. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who was proud of it, they're like, fuck it, I'm going on chat roulette with this thing. Wait, so those kids were just talking shit to you out the gate? Yeah, they called me the F word. Fart? <laughs> so speaking of fart, shout out to Bart Sampson. Yeah, shout out to Bart, Bart Sampson. Yeah, someone was uh, smoking weed like right outside my fucking place. Look at this guy. What's up, bro? Oh, it's SpongeBob. Red SpongeBob? I really wanted to talk to him. What's up, S.A.? I love how that, oh, that what's up, bro? girl. Fuck, man. That girl brought her whole family on. The kid, the mom. I know. What the fuck great. is going on? I said I was from Oaxaca, and they were like, this guy's from Oaxaca, and they started talking to me. Oaxaca? Yeah, it's a place in Mexico. <laughs> really nice place, actually. You had him going for a little bit. I was I really I didn't live there. Look at this guy flossing his teeth. What you doing, bro? You know, just doing my thing. What are you doing? Flossing, man. Getting high and flossing. Getting high and flossing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> okay, <Fuck yeah>, dude. <laughs> are you in the US? Yeah, I'm in California. What about you? Atlanta. Atlanta. Dude, is, yeah. is that a is that a men, is that a menthol mint strip floss? Strip. Of course. But after like the second week, it loses its flavor. <laughs> You've been using that shit for two weeks? No. Man. 
I'm just kidding. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Chat roulette? Uh, it's it's like tennis. one every hour. You're in the wrong section. You got to be in the dicks allowed section. That's where the boobs are. That's where the boobs are? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I've been wasting all my time. <laughs> Two weeks. Do you live in your, your parents? <laughs> Did he next you? He next to me, yeah. Bro, so when you share the audio, it overlaps yours so that it goes super quickly. Like, if I were to say, ask you a question, you would be answering the question before I even finish my sentence by a second. So that's what the viewers hear, but you know what I'm saying? They hear a delay? No, there's no delay, I'm saying. It's like uh, too well, quick. Yeah. Um, ask him if he fucks bees. You fuck bees? I love how he's got to make the sound effects with his own voice. <laughs> that thing is like, oh, shit. <laughs> You're a faggot. <laughs> he called you. <laughs> That's two for two, Sean, getting called the other. I know, dude. but that other guy gave me, he ranked me a 10. He rated me a 10. You heard that, remember? Yeah. Uh, sometimes these little Filipino people look like women. What's up, dude? That guy was way too proper for this platform. You're too young for this. I know. What was that guy doing? He had like his dress shirt on, reading a Kindle or some shit. Fuck out of here. What up, dude? That... What are you doing? What's up, bro? Do you remember that kid that was on here that was like picking up girls and shit like that? And he plays like games with them and all that shit. Yeah, why should I play a game? No, I'm just saying, um, whatever happened to him, wasn't he gonna come on our show? I don't know who that guy was. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I remember I had to edit that episode because he played a song at the very end of it. And that's yeah, why fuck him. him again. <laughs> we yeah, need to get that? the magician on though from last show. That, he was- He was cool. He he's was not, cool. He's never gonna replace a Paul Kilmer. No, I'm saying, He's just, it's good to have. All right, this guy's cleaning out his bowl. What is that? Oh, whoops, I nexted him. That was me by accident. Fuck, I was going to talk to him, but I nexted him. I was trying to unmute him, but I hit the wrong button. This guy looks like Miles Maglionis. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Yo, look at that hair, man. I look like MGK uh, older. MGK. Who, me? Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly? Yeah. I look like an older Machine Gun Kelly. That's what you just told me? Yeah. All right. All right. It's so good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Take a heap, heap. Machine Gun Kelly is a very famous person. Yeah. I think he's, uh, he's with some, he's with Brian Austin Green's girlfriend now, Megan Fox. Yeah. You know Megan Fox? So, is he with Megan Fox? No. Oh, she's hot. She was in Transformers. Yeah, she's hot. Yeah, she's hot. Check her out. Where are you from, Brazil? Yeah. No, Africa. Africa? Beautiful. Yeah. What, where in Africa? Algeria. Nigeria. Algeria. 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 Hmm. Never heard of it. Al Algeria. <laughs> did, did you next him or you next him? Yeah. Yeah, I think he was lying. I never heard of Algeria. <laughs> no, he, I'm looking for other people. He was fun, but. His energy was very boring. It was like very. Yeah, strong. it was too serious. Yeah. But he was complimenting you. Look at this guy. I know. I like the compliments. Machine Gun Kelly, huh? What is this? Go to sleep. It's way past your bedtime, little girl. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got the smoke going. He's got a bottle of Hennessy in the background. All he's missing is the girls. What up, bro? Where's your hose? I can't hear you. Ah, oh, man. He knows I can't hear him. What is Ugh. that? What are you doing, bro? Jesus Christ. Get away from it. Ah, shit. What we yeah, dancing? there we go. What we we got Shorty. To? What we dancing to? Oh, oh she next to me. Okay, that was a jacker. Oh, we got Andy Milanakis. We got Andy Milanakis in the building. <laughs> Actually, you know who, you, dude? You know who you look like? 
You ever see the Vampire Diaries? I look like a dumbass. No, you don't. You look like that guy Ian Summerholder. I do. Yeah, if he was a little kid. How old are you? What? Are you a little kid? N no. <laughs> you age well. You look like you're. You look like either a little kid or Ian Summerholder. Oh God. Listen, you can't please everybody. You can't please everybody, man. Try. What up? Speaking what of what is going kids. on here? This girl, these little kids. What the fuck are these little kids doing on this shit? You are here. Where is that? I don't know. People hold up signs. They're writing signs. Wisconsin. I feel like that's the top part of the shirt. The you are here shirt. No. Are you? You are here in Wisconsin. What's up, bro? What was that? Hey, what's up? You from Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you a DJ? Yeah. In Wisconsin? What can I do? Oh, man. Have him come on the show and spin. Well, he, he, the music's not allowed on the show. What, what, are you doing that? On, what are you doing on chat roulette? You just trying to play some music for people or see some boobs? No, just trying to play some music for people. What kind of music you'd like to get into? <laughs> oh, is shit. Polish? Ask him if he's Polish. Are you Polish? I gotta mix them because of the music. I don't want to edit this episode. Ew, you got boogers in your nose? I feel my tears. Why are you crying? I was. Why? Allergies. Allergies? Yeah, I have allergies. Oh, okay. Where are you from? You... I'm from Spain. Spain? Yes. Nice. How old is she? I don't speak Spanish though, because I grew up here oh, in the U.S. Oh, are you in the United States right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Me too. I'm oh. in California. How old are you? Oh, I'm in Texas. How old are you? 17. 17? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm 39. You see? <laughs> 39? So get the fuck out of here. She's like 12, bro. Dude, some of these people, I can't. I have to move the screen because this guy won't next me. He's jerking off and he won't next me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm staring at him and he's just like... I love how the, she says she's 17 and then she says she's 33. Dude, you don't look either of those ages. You she look said 39, dude. 12. 39. She went from 17 to 40 real quick. <laughs> What's happening here? Fucking Michael Sarah, or what's it? <laughs> Michael Sarah, <laughs> George Michael. All right, we'll just do this for another two minutes. Yeah. See if we get anybody or not. <sighs> it's frozen. Oh, here we go. Something's up. What's up, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> ugh. Ugh, what was that? I like her to I know, me too. What up? What are you doing? Um, on chat roulette, obviously. Are you from Australia? No, that's the first one I usually get. Yes. New Zealand? Next no, that's the second one I usually get. Yes. Greenland? Okay, that's a new one. Kazakhstan? Poland, Australia. Ireland, Switzerland, Ireland, no, Florida. That's not a country. That's okay. England. <laughs> Thank you. <Florida>. There you go. <laughs> uh, welcome yeah, to you, Chat Roulette. What are you doing? What are you? You just, just talking and trying to avoid as many penises as possible. But you know, penises out there. 
And it's scary. I was just literally the last one guy I was chatting with, he, he, I was just saying that I bumped into these like young girls just on chat roulette. And I'm like, oh my God, will we, like my shocked face, they press next immediately. And, and they just saw what I just saw, some of the stuff that I just saw. I know they're seeing that too, you know? It's, yeah, it, it's absolutely. It, Are you in a hotel room? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm from England and um, I'm currently in the Cayman Islands. I was a dive instructor, it was a dive instructor. Hopefully going to be one back again in a few months. Uh, yeah, I'm in a hotel room because um, basically when this shit happened, I went to my landlord and said, any chance we can get a reduction on rent in the Cayman Islands? Fucking crazy expensive. And um, the landlord, um, it was me and this other bloke, which was another dive instructor in another place. And he was like, no, nah, you'll be fine. You can just stay here for the price. And we looked at each other and we were like, fuck this place. Oh my God. <laughs> and so we basically, um, we used our... Um, our um, deposit for the last month and came into this hotel room for cheaper than it was to stay at my old apartment. Wow. So you're now, in a hotel room? Yeah, literally. I have a microwave and a fridge. You, you know what? It, you got your TV, you got your fridge, your microwave. I actually have caught up on a lot of um, 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 HGTV. I like my HG, the Property Brothers. I like uh, I like flea market flip. I'm a flea market flipper. I haven't seen that. Oh, that's that's a good um, one. Oh, um, sorry. I've seen um, flip and flop, uh, flip and flop, and um, um, oh, what is it? Obviously, property brothers. Um, I fix see rocker. She I like floppy. fix rocker. Um, you ever see the flippity uh, flop? The flippity floppity flips. Flippity. Uh, love it or list it. Love it or list it. Flippity flops. The flippity flippity flips. I don't all know. Of so just, you, have you been diving at all? No. Been able to go out and swim, but diving still is here. Oh, and even when diving, um, it, they're expecting flights to come. We obviously we get our uh, money from tourism in the Cayman that's Islands. Gonna her top. That's meant to be September. <laughs> wow. You have to do it. Uh, I'm going to have to move out of here on the 27th. Hey, can you unbutton so, your top for me? So where are you going to go? Can you unbutton your top? I'll find a place. If you not, it would be okay if you could just like unbutton one of the top buttons a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Maybe, can you just unbutton like one of the top buttons a little bit? Actually, I've got my high-tech hoodie on. Oh, shit. Yeah, Pretty that's... high-tech that's... with the hood and everything. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, there take, you go. Take it off, though. Nah. All right. I'm going to go look for some dicks. I'll see you later. Nice meeting you. Have a good penis. What'd she say? Have a good penis. <laughs> Have a good penis. <laughs> Dude, you know what that reminded me of? You ever watch, um, ah, oh, fuck, what is it? Impractical the, Jokers? The, Impractical Jokers. Yes, and they have each other in the headset. Dude, we gotta st we gotta start doing that. That's gotta be a segment with Chad Roulette. <laughs> we just dare each other to say shit. It's easy when you don't have to say it to their face, though. Yeah, but dude, it's even still though I didn't want to say that to her, it's I didn't want to say it because if they're super nice, you don't want to fucking be an asshole to them. I know, I didn't want to say that to her. <laughs> <laughs> she was like super nice. She was nice, very nice. Yeah, man, yeah, isn't that fucking dude? That's what I'm saying, bro. Everything is just so fucking crazy. <laughs> this. This poor girl from Europe is in the Cayman Islands right now, stuck there, and the fucking rent that she was paying there is super expensive. And I was going to say, isn't the Cayman Islands insanely expensive? Yeah, and, and, and she was like, do you think that you can like reduce the rent? And he's like, nah. And she's like, oh, okay. So now they're living in a hotel because it's cheaper to live there than to fucking pay the rent. That's so fucked up. But dude. they use the deposit that they use at, the, at her place that they were renting to pay for this month and they're only good until the 27th. So she's got 13 more days until she, uh, or whatever it is, until, uh, until she's on to the next whatever it is. Dude, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm saying, man. Like, Jesus Christ. Everybody's got it so different. You never know. And that's why chat relates. What, cool. what would you do if she just dumped her tits out? I would have paused the screen for you guys not to see, and then I would have checked them out for a little bit, probably. <laughs> Remember that one chick that just 
totally went to town. Dude, there was some. There was a lot of crazy shit that I just saw that you didn't. Yeah. But, uh... Well, wait. Oh no, I can't. I was gonna say, is there a way to? No. I thought you could have it recorded somehow. I for, I forget we're fucking live right now, dude. We gotta wrap this shit up. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're gonna finish this shit up. Um. Yeah, that's it, guys. It's guys, about- we're back, baby. Chat roulette's back. Chat roulette is back. Um, we're back. <laughs> Everybody's gonna come back, I think, temporarily, and then everything's gonna get shut down real quick again. You see, like, how, yeah. the, sp- the spikes of the states that are reopening right now are just are just ridiculous. Like, oh, I thought you were talking about Chad Roulette. Oh no, but oh no, I dude, who the fuck knows what's gonna happen? The world is fucked. It's, we're all going to shit. Listen, guys, all you gotta do is just fuck money and get bitches, right? Is that the saying? I think um, Rex and Effects fuck said bitches, it best. Get money. Rex and effects said it best. Where all I want to do is zoom, 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 and then zoom, boom, boom, boom. And Just shake your rum. Shake, zoom, baby, zoom in. shake, baby, one, two. And we're two, boom, shake, boom, baby, shake, baby. Those were yeah. the days. Good old Those days, were the man. fucking jams. That's uh, that was that's my wife and our song. I used to work at we used to work at the sports bar together down in Florida when we were going to college, and I used to put that shit on the jukebox. And that when she used to come over to me, she's like, "Oh, did you do that for me?" I'm like, "Yeah." It's called the rum shake. <laughs> That's our song. We played at our wedding. All right. All right, boys. Oh, and count us down. We'll see you guys later. This is episode 32 of The Worst Show Ever. Thank you for joining us. We will see you here on Tuesday, the next episode of The Worst Out. What? What, what the fuck I was, was that? Th- I was trying to, you know, you can like blow no, in a dude, fucking that's glass You were doing cup. it like this. No, no, no. You know how you can like blow in a jug? It makes a sound. All right. Count us down. Five, four, three, two.